What is up guys? Good evening. Uh, my name is David Orton. I'm so glad to be back doing another vlog for y'all. I tried to do another night um, and I saw literally zero live snakes over a span of like six hours, which was super rough. Um, so that vlog didn't really go anywhere. Um, I don't think I'll end up posting anything from that. But uh, new night and we got a massive storm squall line moving in, dropping pressure, um, rising um, humidity, solid temps. So if I don't see a snake tonight, I'm really gonna cry, probably. So stay tuned. I am still down to South Florida, so I'm on the way to the glades right now. I cannot wait. Let me tell you, I cannot wait. Oh man, I am at the glades and I have seen nothing moving and nothing dead. It's always good to see nothing dead, but it also means that nothing's moving. So no live snakes yet at all. Um, storm front still moving in. It should do something soon. I will really be distraught if I don't find something. I'll be so perplexed, man. Okay, praise God, praise God, praise God, praise God, praise God. That shaped up better than expected. All right, that is a Brooks King Snake. This is my main target that I've had uh, all year. I got one live one, an adult, that was my lifer, and this is my second ever live one. Absolutely makes up for the one I saw get smashed the other night. That was so sad, and I am so thankful to the Lord that that moment was just redeemed. Shoo! Oh man, when I tell you guys that I was ecstatic to see this snake in the road, I, I, I was about to uh, try to find somewhere to pull off and go pee, and I was like, let me just keep going a little bit farther. And then I just see this uh, unmistakable pattern. I try to keep my excitement down in case I was like being goofy and imagining it like as, you know, as a king, even if it was something else, but nope, unmistakable. That's so cool. Man, I mean, just check out that coloration. Um, while, you know, big snakes are typically preferred, right? Like nothing beats a six foot Brooks King. Um, the babies are cool because they have so much color. They have all that orange there that you're not gonna see on an adult. So. Um, I really had wanted to see a live baby to be able to appreciate that amazing coloration there. They have some of the cutest faces of any snakes I've ever seen, the Brooks Kings do. A little bit of a black in their eye makes them look like they're sort of curious and looking around. So cute. And then this guy has a pretty recently stubbed tail. Um, I don't know if a, if a bird grabbed that or another snake maybe, or if it got ran over, uh, but either way, um, it is right past his cloaca, so he is living to um, tell the story for another day. Or living to poop another day, at the very least. So yeah, the Brooks King Snake is an S-tier species. That stands for super tier. Um, it is the rarest thing that I could find out here in terms of localities, um, for sure, since Brooks Kings are only found in the Everglades. I think other really rare finds out here would be like coral snakes, would probably be a pretty good find for this area. And then like, yeah, like Easter Indigo Snake would be, would be pretty insane. Um, but Brooks, Brooks is right up there. Um, so amazing. Oh, and I'd be chagrined to mention, I think the obvious S tier that would compete with it other than Indigo would be like a, a big 15, 16 foot Burmese Python. Um, those are rare to come by, so pretty cool. Yeah, this guy has such a beautiful belly pattern though. Oh man, what a special snake. And uh, yeah, he will grow to be um, about six feet in length, if I'm not mistaken, uh, maybe just a little bit over. Um, I think their main prey item is gonna be rats and like other rodents actually, um, but they are snake eaters. Um, the uh, smashed Brooks King from the, from the other night actually had a swamp snake inside of him, so it's really extra sad. Um, sort of a sucky reality the fallen world that anything predates anything. Um, so, but anyways, there's that information for what it's worth. Just want to show them on the ground, slithering around here. Oh man, it's just so cool, isn't it? What a neat thing to see. They, they can be kind of quick when they want to be, honestly. <laughs> I'll set them down on the black top too. It's kind of cool to see them in the same same habitat. I found them in here, right in the black top. Check that out. Man, beautiful, beautiful little snake. Just a little guy, huh? Yeah, a tiny little guy, but so gorgeous nonetheless. Honestly though, yeah, my king snake game is actually pretty weak. Um, I've only ever got, besides Burke's kings now, I've got two of them. I've got like Scarlet Kings, I've got Black Kings, and I got like one Dixie County locality Eastern King here in Florida. But I still need to get like an Eastern King like proper, I still need to get Florida King, still need to get Apalachicoa King, still need to get South Florida Mole King, Short Tail King, so it's a lot I need to make up for here. Oh, and I technically got a California King one time in Arizona. I forgot about that guy, that was really cool. 
And check it, look, I am wearing my uh, David Oren merch. I should call attention to that at some point in this video. Sort of plug that. I'll put a link to that shop in the bio. I hope you guys check it out. Uh, would mean a lot. Definitely be a great way to support me. So I really appreciate that. Thank you in advance. All right, so I think my strategy is actually just gonna be hanging on to this little Brooks King Snake while I cruise around for a bit, hoping to get something else cool out here. And when I'm done, I'll put him right back where I found him. Mwah, what a cutie. Okay, it is no Brooks King Snake, but it is a little uh, brown water snake. Really, really cute. I love these guys. It's a gorgeous pattern. Noridia Texas Beloda. All right, I think it's time to let this little guy go. I don't think we're gonna find anything else too soon. I don't wanna hold on to him much longer, so. Oh, I didn't mean to drop him there, but he's okay. What a fantastic little snake. Oh, praise God. Nice, an alligator. There he goes, it's pretty cool. Check that out, big, beautiful green water snake. It has a nice, good sized guy. I don't really feel like picking it up and having it bite me, so I'll just watch it uh, do its thing. Beautiful. All right, the rain's really starting to move in on us now, and it's causing a few things to uh, come out and about. Nothing moving in the numbers like I was hoping for, but hey, man, we already got the Brooks King. We're chilling. My night, my week is made. We're solid. Yeah, uh, at this point, I'm honestly just hoping for like a Burmese python. That would just be really cool. Really uh, top off the night, the Everglades experience, you know? There we go. It's a little snake. This right here is a nice looking little, uh, little garter snake. Um, with some gorgeous blue in him and he's pooped on my finger there all right yeah these guys love the rain there we go there's our uh, ribbon snake as expected another rain loving snake in the same genus as the uh, garter oh that's kind of neat it's a uh decays brown snake or florida brown snake whatever it's called it's kind of cool just uh just a little actually it's pretty big for the species periscoping here in the middle of the road i thought it was a ribbon at first it's a solid little beach here. Really didn't find much of anything else. Um, it's kind of, yeah, pretty slow, all things considered, but hey man, Bert's King saved the night, praise God. Now we're about to get some Wawa. And uh, yeah, thanks so much for watching. Please like and subscribe, and uh, be sure to check out um, my online store with the merch. Gonna be doing some new designs here pretty soon. Pretty excited for you guys to see. All right, that's it, talk to you later.